we'll be moving on to Do the Manta Ray versus Stale Devil. Uh, beyond FS being the big button to go through for this, mm-hmm. do you have any thoughts you want to bring up about the Leo Sol matchup? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there are uh, several things that you have to consider. Uh, funny enough, Vortex will be one of them, because w- what are the main two buttons at neutral for Leo, if the Leo player is interested in playing neutral, which is not often the case. But if it is, you know, it's your Far S and your Far HS, and the Vortex mm-hmm. can definitely low profile without any problem, both of them. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I've seen uh, Vortex also low profile the big fireballs. Is that is that right? Or It, it that might be high? right. It does have a very, very low profile like application. I know Vortex will go under the Giganter proto, uh, projectile. Yeah. Um, yes. And I think it goes under antidepressant scale if antidepressant scale isn't on top of Soul. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I've seen it. Uh, I've seen uh, the the low version of antidepressant being low profile once again. If it's not on the ground right away, so yeah, that is definitely uh, one of the things. Another thing is the five k deals quite well with some of the cross ups. The DP actually eats quite well uh, with so not cross ups, sorry, cross throughs. So you know the directors and so on. And another thing is uh, Soul gets to ignore a lot of his mix up game from back turn. Right, because of the buttons that are fast, because of the reversal that is true, and things like that. Uh, on the Leo side, I think that if you get to set up the fireball, you can actually give a lot of problems to Soul due to uh, the fact that it doesn't really have that range or that control to go uh, over it or under it. Because yes, you can low profile it at some ranges, but if you, if the Leo is guarding it behind it, then it's going to be a problem. Uh, in general, a very aggressive matchup on both sides. That's what I'm and talking about. I think the matchup is about to kick off now as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. Although we don't currently have full screen on it ourselves, but we can see the match going on. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, no worries. We can come to All right. Uh, interesting round start from both players there. Uh, Leo opting to backdash to try and get some more space in. Good burst. Once that back turn occurs, you don't really want to be fighting a Leo. Uh, Vortex, like you said, actually getting used there to try... Oh, no, 2D. 2D into back turn, into a run-through. Really yeah. good. Oh. Yeah, and uh, a lot of the challenges with the reversal, <laughs> as we were talking about, you know, on both sides, the DP keeps on coming, the flash kick keeps on coming, and things like that. Uh, unfortunately for uh, Steel Devil, they were not able to uh, challenge the overhead on reaction from the tech uh, with the 5k, and uh, they end up losing the first round. Ooh, really good. It's interesting, because, like, Manta Ray is respecting that FS at round start by doing a small, small little... Uh, movement backwards, not a backdash, just a little movement backwards to get that space. Oh, like 2D into flash kick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Level one mix up, everyone still is falling for. Mm-hmm. Seeing really good pressure coming out of here from uh, do the manta ray for the first couple of rounds here, but like stale devil is no slouch. There's the DP trying to bait something out there. That projectile beats uh, gunflame. Yeah, because of uh, because of the fact that it's multi-hit, so one or two of the hits will collide with Gunflame, and then you're basically free to move through Gunflames because it's not active anymore. Interesting. Yes. Sting Manta Rays tried to like bait something out here from Stale Devil. Really good, like just da- standstill grab, like waiting that one half second for something to happen. Clearly trying to block a beat DP if it was coming. Yeah, um, and when it didn't come, just be like, okay, cool. Here comes the throw. Yeah, very good adaptation because they've seen the DP come a couple of times before during the you know the first two uh, the first round especially, and they're like you know what let me check for that one. Good, interesting pressure coming out here. I don't know if that Ender is safe for Leo. I think it is. Ah uh, yes, minus one. Oh yeah, that's safe. There's the overhead. Oh my god, the second Leo's back turn. I just go feral. <laughs> Even just watching. It go, oh, there's the full hit for the the dust. Oh, no finisher on it. Interesting. Uh, oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. The DP eating from the other side. I mm-hmm. love this matchup. Goes for the overhead. No low. Ooh. Interestingly, gives up the back turn on it. Oh, and there's the counter hit. Are we going to see a burst or a bait for it? Burst goes in. Midway through. Interesting. Yeah, that is a. Be. There's a lot of guts in there to challenge Fafnir. Like, yeah, okay, the 5k I think traded with uh, the standing peak 
the five me yeah i think the the late burst was to avoid any possible advanced setup to uh you know bait burst because you can do them even without meter in some with some character but probably just without that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. interesting uh the back dash to get away from fafnir and then nothing to follow up against it but oh the O's and their flash kick. And there it is, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love those moments in fighting games. Good use of the Gunflame to like set up the next level of offense after getting the 2D knockdown. Purple RC in the corner. <laughs> Just DP into DP. Yeah, oh, yeah, the power bomb. They can extend from this. Yes, and they're and getting it. A lot of damage. Not dead yet. Yeah. Block the kick on it. Don't have the back turn, don't have a lot of meter, but they do have the positive bonus and are using that SHS to just keep it going. What a punish, putting the big fireball out there and using the multi hit to, you know, actually anchor them onto the air and uh, finish them off. Very good option there. Yep, yep, excellent use of the resources they had on hand. And there's that slight move back as again. We're gonna keep seeing that, I think. He's just waiting for that uh, that FS to come out and go to try to punish it on whiff because it's your best time and your best bet to try to punish. Because nobody wants to be uh, soul plus two in their face. Yeah. Run through? Good. I wanted to say forward dash there. Wow! Like, Four DPs in a row! And there's the that the show talking about. Yep, and it goes under the big projectile. I imagine it probably goes under the super as well. Five, The BT5... Uh, sorry, the BTK can't get away from it. It's the fastest button in the world. I'm so upset by it all the time. Ooh, really good use of the grab and the unblockable hit. Yeah, you gotta you gotta press buttons between or you got to like DP even better because you have invincibility. Mm -hmm. uh, especially because if it's set up meaty, either you you challenge or you're gonna be in a setup, especially if they meet up. Wake up DP against the, uh, the overhead. Ooh, Bandit Bringer, no follow-up after the knockdown. Ooh. Manta Ray is just kind of trying to find their space against Devil here. Oh, there's the FS. Ooh. Okay, into the corner. Uh, oh, yep. block, but nothing, no challenge after, so they take their turn again. Oh, sees the, um, sees the burst, but doesn't convert from the uh, forward S. An unfortunate thing, but still gets the burst, and... No punish in the Night Rage Vortex. What's uh, Vortex again? Uh, minus uh, 16. Minus 8? 16. Ooh. I think it's minus 16. I might... Oh, hold on. Let me check. I feel like it's less minus than that, but you can... Depending on how long he holds the button for it, it's what I feel like it is. Ooh. Just trying to feel each other out here, trying to get their uh, offense going. Mostly just kind of trying to beat TPs against each other. Well, Dust Loop is down, but I kind of remember 16. Either 16 or 13, if uh, fully held. Oh. Alright, so again, this, and it's gonna yeah. punish. Yeah, it's just keep, you know, keep the safe approach. Don't get hit by the second hit of the super. You're gonna lose a lot of damage. I knew it was coming. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. The dash. Like, they caught, uh, they caught him as soon as they pressed the dash, because yep. they could be blocked. You're still gonna be minus, because it's like plus 14 on block or something. Mm -hmm. But, you know, uh, you could have blocked, but if you have touched the dash, that's your death. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, if Aaliyah was back turned to you and is full screen, they have on their mind that they're gonna hit you with the projectile, whether they have the meter for it or not. That's all <laughs> they want to do. That's, that's what's going on in their brain. Here's the unblockable hit. Oh, they're getting looped in the corner, and that's gonna be it! Potentially. Wow, 2 Ooh. HS to kill, yes, that does a lot of damage. I don't know if that was just what they were always gonna do, or if that was incredible presence of mind to know that they were gonna get the wall splat, which is unburstable at that point. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think it's uh, that presence of mind, like they've played enough Leo to know when they're going to get that break and when they're not. Speaking of presence of mind, uh, the two two S two HS, I think it's two HS. No, two S uh, to actually low profile the jump and get a mm -hmm. from it. And now this could be it. Like, oh no, not nearly enough damage there. Sorry, I thought uh, I misread who had what meter. Oh yeah, fair enough. With the super, yeah, there could have been like a lot. Mm -hmm. Wall break off super like is no slouch in terms of damage. Good use of YRC to try to get the game back into their favor. Ooh, oh. my whiff punish with the power bomb and L OTG from there. No, does it get anything? But yeah, <laughs> OTG from the power bomb without meter. 
Yeah. Go what you need me to prove. Going back to the Vorte is actually minus 17. Oof. So yeah, I, was wrong, but I, I was wrong because I, I thought it was safer than I thought. <laughs> oh, just trying to, putting themselves in the corner, but getting the back turn. That's what you. That's the Leo's true mentality. Oh god. Not the worst punish in the world, but even still, it's heartbreaking to burn your burst and still get wall splatted. Yeah, for sure. It's like they were, they had 50 meter there, so it's like they were inviting the night raid to come in the whole time. Okay, yes, uses the meter to avoid the vortex, places themselves in front of the fireball and uses the PRC to be able to block. In case the vortex comes in, you are clashing onto the fireball like you're at the fan fair in the mirror house. <laughs> Steel Devil, I think, is trying to think about... Oh! Fully burn, Fully burn, Bringer. The damage and the corner carry. Mm -hmm. and the meter, yeah, this is like where... Okay, all gone, all gone. This is a great possibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Steel Devil's gotten... That's to too deep, all beautiful! Those. You know what? I'm Italian, so I can do it. That 2D, mwah! <laughs> Chef is. Just that near, that near the burst. Do it, fam. Your soul, who cares? Your brain is best gorilla. <laughs> oh my god. Also, Ooh, man, excellent movement. Again, as a, uh, as a contest on the clash. <laughs> I just want to say, excellent movement from Stale Devil in the last couple of bits there. He's oh. been able to get over the fireball just barely and still be in range to threaten. Okay, nice burst to keep them in the corner. Big, uh, big whiff. Nothing to save you now. And uh, oh no, could have built a second meter in the combo if he hadn't dropped it. Using the red meter. Oh, two D putting work in. Ah, uh, revolver might have killed, but okay, jumping S and uh, mm -hmm. still level uh, puts themselves on the board on uh, the first match right now. One four uh, the score, mm -hmm. but this could be the change of momentum. We've seen it before. Uh, we've seen it last time with uh, uh, Leo being uh, down five games and then coming back with a straight 7-5, so he can have... <laughs> That's kind of the nature of Leo's explosive damage, but you can't discount Saul. Like, everyone else is referring to Saul as being the boss character simply because his damage is so explosive, his options are so good. And also, excellent gorilla play here, and going to get that wall break, I think. Oh, no! Yeah, the jumping deep pressed low enough can act both as an air to air and an air to ground. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's gonna wall break though. That's gonna be a lot of damage. And also the fireball. The no, goes for the safe jump. Interesting because the bar was there, it could have been blown up. Okay, the dust did nothing to escape it, and yeah, that should be the round. Look, it's hard to react to dust sometimes. 26 frames of an overhead is difficult to react to. When you're an old man like me. Uh, is this a uh, 26? I thought it was like universal 28. It's... Oh, you might be right. I think it is 28 when held yeah, yeah. and 20 when yeah. just pushed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ooh, now knocking at uh, Manta Ray's door like, you know, still Devil has some uh, unsolved debts and unsolved money and is, you know, trying to get money for it. But right now, the walls... Ooh. Unfortunate there. But it's like leading this round right now. Ooh, gets that perfect on the board. Sola is no slouch by any means. This is either a case of he's figured out what he wants to do against Manta Ray, or he's figured out Manta Ray's main game plan and made it awkward for him to execute it. Uh, I think they are actually reacting way more defensively to what they're doing, and they're able to avoid some of those uh, reversals. See, even the backdash there was sort of like conscious of what the option is and what the habits has been. Uh, going into this third round, but right now, Manta Ray with a full conversion. And getting that wall break for all the bonus meter in the world, which you don't want to give a Leo that much meter. It's yeah, so no. Especially with Better the control scene. that he gets from the big fireballs. If you let him launch mm -hmm. the big fireball and PRC it, oh boy, you're in trouble. Oh yeah, oh no, an accidental Night, ra uh, night Raid Vortex that just got themselves clipped. Still 15 like meter on the Leo. Here. I like the burst there because the next hit could have wall splat and then the super would have killed him. Really cheeky backdash into grab attempt there to try and bait something out. Surprised that backdash got through the path. The here. opener, okay, never mind the uh, the burst wasn't baited. Yeah, it goes under because Leo wasn't there to protect the range, so slid under the fireball. Unfortunately, didn't work out for Steel Devil. Mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. 
But like you're saying, I think Steel Devil is reacting, is doing a lot more reactionary play here. They're less trying to push their own agenda and just trying to respond to Leo's. And I think that is working out for them. Absolutely. It's gotten them, yeah, Absolutely. It's gotten them a perfect on the board. It's gotten them around in the game. Sorry, around in the set. Like, they're here and they're ready to play. Oh, no. Okay, DB doesn't get punished, though. Is the S1 notoriously not the easiest punish if you're not ready for it? Okay, oh, ooh, really good presence of mind there to use the uh, the auto parry. Oh, no. You're in the corner now without the burst. Never mind. Never mind. Things are in the corner. Good use of the red RC to get away from uh, having burned the heavy volcanic fiber. <laughs> Nobody's interested in blocking. <laughs> it's been like seven seven wire Cs and five dust. <laughs> it feels like it. Look, it's Leo versus Saul. This was always going to be the unblockable match. True that. Oh, unfortunate. Alright, what are we going to see at round start here? It's been it's been a wild time. Oh, Ooh, there oh, it is, the first parry of the game. One frame startup, deal with it. I think Manta is trying to play a little bit more defensive now as well. Trying to, like, let Steel Devil burn themselves out into them. Not going super well here. Oh, that's the second backdash uh, Fafnir that we've seen so far. Full conversion there, gets the hard knockdown, gets the walls flat. I was wondering why that wall didn't break before. <laughs> Looks like so many hits. Yeah, the wall is so random in this game. Oof. It, you could get a, a full scholarship and a PhD in it, and you still wouldn't be knowing when it breaks. <laughs> One of the main reasons for that, I believe, is that wall damage actually counts as long as your combo is more than 50% of the stage towards the wall. So if you start a combo next to the wall, there's a chance that some of your combo damage from before is carried over into it. It's a really dumb system and I don't like it. Yeah, and also I, like, it scales between prorations and things, so it's like... Uh... Yo. Ooh. Uses the PRC, doesn't get anything off of it. Grab with from being just a little bit too far away. PRC... That was actually a huge punish and a huge play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really intelligent use of BRC. It's one of these things that we're seeing develop now, like... Month three into the game, month two into the game, yeah, yeah. is people correctly using BRC in neutral, um, and as an escape tool as well because of the slowdown. Ooh, that that's dead. Uh, I wonder if uh, oh no, they didn't have burst. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? If you do something like that and you slow down time, because I don't think you get burst during the animation of the super, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, no, anytime a super is started, it's unburstable as long as the. Either the animation has started, or the first hit of the super has landed. Yeah, yeah, super. and that's the thing. If if they had gone for a combo, maybe there was a very small chance that the burst would have built. So using the super actually might have been the play to seal it I out. Have, I have no idea how Leo got the pick up on that combo before this one. Run through, there's the grab. <laughs> Movement! The, oh, nice, PRC to block the... Uh, bandit bringer. Yeah, the bandit bringer to just recover in time to block it. 2D, but doesn't lead to anything. Yeah, that is punch if you do it in the interface. Soul 2D is put work in. The, the amount of counter hit 2Ds we've seen has been phenomenal. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> DP the Fafnir, why not? Good throw break. Okay, I wonder if. Heavy Mob Cemetery. Yeah, on the back jump. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out, but they add the mirror to make it safe. Just mm -hmm. a very expensive play. I mean, if you're fighting against a Leo Assault, surely your mindset is they don't have 50 meter if they throw a single projectile, I am heavy mobbing them and they are dying. Yeah. Like, heavy mob cemetery damage is so, so big. I'm speaking of so big, that's a counter hit Fafnir. <laughs> oh, that's a counter hit in the corner for Saul. Oh. Leo with his high guts, though, still actually in this matchup, but jeez, my heart would be racing. Looking for that bait to get that grab in, I can tell you as a grappler. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it doesn't get the, the pickup. Heavy mob. Jumps out of it. Doesn't go punish because they're so far away. However, Soul can actually punish it with Vortex, but you have to know about it. He can Vortex the heavy mob? Yeah. Uh, sorry, no, uh, let, let it go. I, I, my, my brain farted there. <laughs> But yes, no. uh, Leo Super can actually punish it, that's what I'm saying. The, oh, you know, big, the, the big swinging one? Oh, the multi-hit attack, yeah. Because I know that Heavy Mob goes through all projectiles. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, the, the big swinging one. But it depends on the on the range. Well played to... 
Mm-hmm. I think so. I think so. I'm not sure. Um, I was too focused commentating the match. Yeah. Question mark. Question mark? Maybe they're taking a break or maybe they're considering us. Maybe taking that one second to change character potentially? Yeah, it could be that. Oh, it could just be, you know, a breather to try and recompose. Yeah, when you're that one match off, maybe it's time to like... We discussed it before, and I'll keep repeating it. When you need to take your moment, you go take your moment. We had a, what was it, Rayoli versus uh, Kashkabald? Yeah, Rayoli yeah. versus Kashkabald, like 6 1 or 6 2. Kashkabald went, took a took a break. Just, just I a think small it break. was 5 0, and then he went 7 5. Yep. 5 2. Yeah, for, probably was 5 2, and then he yep. went 7 5. Uh, he but takes yeah. a break, you can pay off. All right. There's that backup round start, but not far enough to get away from Far S into Far S. There's the punish, like you said, off Night Raid Vortex. Oh, yeah, yeah. overhead. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. And then another one. <laughs> Undeterred. Woo. Just high jump bandit bringer to get over around the projectile. Oh, this damage though. And also back into the loops. The wake That's gonna hit. hit. That's gonna hit. <laughs> PRC to follow it in. Ooh. Still has that 50 meter to do whatever they want, including a DP to make it safe at any point. Whoa, the throw. Grab punish? Looking for that last hit. Looking for that last hit. No, that's not gonna... No, that's... Oh my god, one more hit! Oh, the big whiff, but it still caught somehow. And never mind, the, the back throw again. Oh, that was emotional. Yeah, those were like five scrambles in a row. Oh, and there's the forest counter at round start. You hate to see it, but it happens. Yeah, that, those were like more fight scrambles than a TF2 lobby with a, with a CP map. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a call out to some people. <laughs> oh, counter hit in the corner. This is gonna go wall splat, and this is so much damage. Oh, and the plus 36 does yep. So they could set up any form of uh, mm -hmm. up and things and baits. Wow. Oh, back, uh, back four. Uh, back cave. Ooh, gets that vortex in there. All right, but my prediction right now: heavy flash kick from Leon. Wake up the second that soul gets close enough. Oh, BRC. Mind the BRC. Yeah, that's the thing. Not only is punishable, you also slow down the recovery at that point. <laughs> so. Both these players playing with 100% of their brain activated right now. Between stale devils, like excellent scramble, scramble out. Oh, dash up 2D to punish the hold on the uh, the auto parry. Yeah. Oh. Manta looking for the punish with a dash in throw, but gets... Ah, I, I need a compilation of how many goddamn DPs wow. have happened this goddamn game. Yeah, yeah, reversals are coming out lower. Mm -hmm. Uses PRC to get an extended uh, bit of blocks done there. Just trying to build me... How much meter does uh, Fake Flame build? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There's, some, there's one of the details that I never uh, sort of paid attention to. It's that last bit of the pickup and gets himself back up on the board. Stale Devil, potentially with that legendary break. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, another thing that I want to say, I purposely delay, delay my rematches as long as I can when I'm losing. <laughs> like, if there is a 10 counter, you better be sure that I'm pressing it like 9.5 9 seconds. Mm -hmm. Give yourself that last little bit of like, like, I just need this, if you need this breathing room, they need to cool down, I need to cool down. Be great. Yeah, and, uh, and you slow down somebody that might be a heavy momentum player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Picking up heavy momentum. We got uh, Manta Ray on their, their final round, if they can pull it off. And after a really convincing round from there. Back turn, 5k, BTK, fade of my existence, full feral button. Ooh. Really good use of that bandit bringer. It's like shutting down a lot of what Manta Ray wants to do. Ooh. JD, whiffs the grab. Potentially seeing the last couple of plays here. 
point blank projectile goes unpunished. Don't expect a soul player to stop pushing buttons. And right now, Mantare playing much more zoning based, much more like, you know, sort of passive and space control, but it's not really working out. The gun flames keep on coming. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a Leo get warnings before. Not on my whole goddamn life. It's madness. He just wants to take this last round to be done with it. This could. Ooh! I was wondering if he would get that last bit of meter and potentially get a fancy cancel out. But PRC gets the kick in. Who's definitely looking for the DP there? 100% guarantee you they were holding back after they jumped up. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's, uh, I believe that was 7 2, 7 3? 7 3. 7 3. Uh, 7 3. So took one game after the break. Mm hmm. Well played to both the players there. Uh, really good showing about like how kind of bonkers that matchup is. Yeah, for sure. It's a really aggressive matchup. It's funny because uh, <clears throat> I was seeing both players do either a flash kick or a vortex or a DP, you know, any sort of like risky play, and then instantly using the burst if the things didn't go their way. And I'm like, that's so home. That's so home. That's so home. So. I mean, I keep saying that like Potemkin versus Leo is the, the real gorilla matchup, but nothing really ever compares to Saul. Saul is always going to be King Gorilla in terms of getting the job done.